In this hall, the future of over 40 million Africans across five countries living on the borders of the shrinking Lake Chad is being decided. Member states are meeting here with representatives of Chinese company and Italian firm, which will undertake project TransAqua. That is channeling water of a distance 2,500 kilometers from Congo River to Lake Chad. Our flagship project, the recharging of the Lake Chad through interbasin water transfer from the Congo Basin to the Lake Chad remains the most viable option for saving the Lake Chad from drying. There is no solution to the shrinking of the Lake Chad that does not involve refilling the lake with water from outside the basin. Therefore, interbasin water transfer is not an option but a necessity. Otherwise, we are faced with the possibility of the Lake Chad disappearing, and that would be catastrophic to the entire continent of Africa. The Lake Chad Basin Commission believes the shrinking of the lake is largely due to the negative effect of climate change caused by developed countries to the detriment of African continent. This development calls for determination and political will of member countries to take firm decision and save the Lake Chad. It is now time for the African Union to face the challenges in the Lake Chad Basin as an African strategic problem and factor the saving of Lake Chad as part of the Pan-African Initiative for Peace, Security and Infrastructure Development of Central Africa, West Africa and the Sahel. Africa must collectively resolve to tackle these issues head on with all we have through the strong political will of our leaders. I urge all of us, the member countries, not to be complacent. Let us continue to build on our progress, and that is the only way to realize our mandate and meet the yearnings of our people. In conclusion, let me express my appreciation to my colleagues from member states for your own efforts in developing the basin. Our developing partners for the tremendous work you are doing at the Commission and within the Basin, and also our invited guests who have over the years lent their support in various ways. However, an hydrologist Francis Ale wants the Lake Chad Basin Commission to look at other means of refilling the lake instead of channeling through the Congo River, which he believes will be more expensive and technically challenging. We have other solution that is beyond getting water from the Congo Basin. And I can say to you that the other activities that we have had to do with recharging the basin with the underground water. Because there are a lot of ways you can do the recharge. You can recharge with the third layer of the aquifer where you have many bowls drilled along the axis of the basins. It could be 200 bowls. It's cheaper for you. Drill to a depth of over 1,200 feet or meters. Then you can start tapping into that level of the aquifer. It gives you a tissue. And you start discharging back to the basin. And you start filling it back. Beyond the refilling through the Congo River, the Lake Chad Basin Commission is also looking at other advantages of the project, which include the possible generation of 15,000 to 25,000 kilowatts of hydroelectricity through the mass movement of water by gravity, developing irrigated land for crop and livestock farming, covering 50,000 to 70,000 square kilometers in the Sahel zones of Chad, northeastern Nigeria, northern Cameroon, Niger Republic, and providing new infrastructure platform for industries and water transports.